Okay, guys. This video is going to be more for me than it is for you, but give you an idea of what's going on. So, big red here. The frame is cracked and it's rusted pretty bad. Um, so, we are going to do a frame swap on a 2003 Dodge Ram 3500 diesel dually. Uh, now, this is the new frame, new to us frame. This came out of a 2006 uh, Dodge Ram 3500 diesel dually um, that I found on Facebook Marketplace of all places. Um, that is not all rusted out. It's got a little bit of surface rust here where the guy had the fifth wheel attachment like we do. Um, but the places that matter inside the frame you know, his is just terrible. Um, so, today, I'm going to bust the leaf springs off because they're heavier than hell to get this thing a little lighter. I'm going to take the trailer hitch off of it. We're going to pull this gas tank because we need my dad's because he's got the, uh, what is it, air dog? Uh, yeah. yeah, the air dog fuel system, which siphons from the bottom of the tank, so we need to swap our tanks. Um and pretty much just get this thing cleaned up. I am going to pour this entire frame and uh, get it ready. And then, the fun part. That bed comes off, doors, doghouse, cab, everything comes off that you see that's physically red. Um, pull the seats, get that up in the air. And then I'm gonna put this frame right here. And we are gonna go Part by part, just take it off of that one, put it onto this one, and uh, make it all work. Because everything else on this truck is pretty good. Um, the only issues and things we might do in the meantime, um, I'm definitely doing a new transmission cooler. Um, that'll get done because the one that's in there stock has got 232,000 miles. Um, I'll flush the lines and I may, I may rebuild the transmission. Um, I might buy a rebuild kit and uh, I got a buddy who does this for a living. So I might uh, pick his brain and, and get into that, put a new torque converter. That's the weak spot of Big Red. And I think it might just be time to, uh, to do it. Um, some of the other things we'll be doing, we'll be going over the brakes making sure they're good, probably need new pads and, and rotors. Um, pretty much just going over this thing stem to stern. Uh, one issue I have with Big Red is it's putting down about 22 pounds of boost when it should be somewhere around 30, 30-ish. Um, I have boost leaks, um, so now is the time to find them. I found a bunch, tightened a bunch of stuff up when I was in Taos. It's dramatically better. Um, but you know, still not getting over 22, but there was a huge power gain just in tightening some, it's the boost tubes that go from the intercooler to the intake, intercooler to the turbo. Um, they're, uh, they rust on the bottom side and I think they're steel, I think, or something to that effect. And, uh, I might be replacing those with the, uh, new boost tubes and, uh, the silicone boots and uh couplers and yeah so just about a uh, absolutely ginam ginormous project so uh something i thought was absolutely incredibly hilarious this is the volkswagen thing frame okay let me get out of this crazy light sun's getting me look at it compared to the the truck frame <laughs> I just found that funny. We just happened to roll it out here and it went, holy shit. But uh, anyway, that's what's happening. Um, I'm gonna go over some things and probably not talk a lot just for reference. And uh, so we have something to go back to, but um, yeah, we got a good frame for Big Red. And we are 1,000% aware how much this is going to suck and uh, how heavy this really is 
and every piece of this is incredibly heavy. So we are going to be extra careful, floor jacks under everything or some kind of jack or something to make sure we don't get crushed. Um, I can pick up the front. Uh, me and Ron can pick up the front. I can move the front. Uh, the back with those leaf springs and all that on there, there's absolutely no way. It's just a monster. So that's the deal. Um, so starting at the front, this sway bar will come off, I believe, because we're going to use ours. Got that there. It. It's mounting up right there. Looks like your steering box, maybe. That's. Hats look good. It's just discoloration, no rust. We PB blastered the uh, bolts. Got a random loose bolt sitting there. Um, looks like fuel lines. They're running back. We've got wiring here that's kind of hooked right here and then it's coming around it's also hooked here looks like they zip tied it but it comes back looks like it goes to fuel tank and all the way back we've got tranny mount i'm guessing motor mounts tranny god knows what this is there's just a lot Got this hat here, bane of our existence, leaves everywhere. This line actually looks like it came across here, like so. Okay, got these. back you got your body mounts both sides looking good fuel tank here and you've got your mounts for these which are there 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 just for reference got the boots on here that i'll pull off that are broke got this thing whenever not sure what that is, but I'm sure it's important. Got fuel tank. Wires. That's how all of that went. Now this wiring we'll have to replace with our wiring. It's pretty, uh, pretty nasty back here, but you can see where it mounts. There, there. Rolls around. Bump stops. Leaf springs. You get the thing on the front. With the door with the. Here. This trailer hitch, which will be coming off, we won't be using that. Believe it or not, the spare tire deal is actually in way better shape than ours. Um, ours is all rusted, so it's, that's a good thing. All in all, though, frame looks pretty good. Not a lot of damage actually no damage this was never in a wreck um, engine blew on a dually and they uh, 2006 dually they pulled the motor scrapped the truck parted it out um, rather than putting the motor in it and this frame came from a guy in Zephyr Hills who parts out Dodge trucks uh, second and third gen I believe and uh, Jimmy Two or something, I don't know, something to that effect. But uh, the guy was telling me his name. But 
that's where this came from. It's a low mileage, 3,500 frame, four by four, fully diesel. That's what we got. Now, I'll show you under here what we're dealing with. I have a crack that goes way up there, all the way through. I can put my finger through this. Here, we got another spot here. Uh, there's some up there. We know we screwed up when we welded these on, uh, just because of how they make the frames. I learned that. Um, so we're gonna not weld these on. We're gonna buy the kit that bolts on and bolt them to the frame so we don't uh, damage the integrity of the new frame. Uh, you can see the air dog fuel system here. Here's our carrier bearing we put in the other day that you guys saw the video for. We poured the drive shaft. Um, yeah, so basically everything you see here is uh, coming off and going on to uh, the new frame. So, uh, like most people that I'm realizing, reading about, uh, the driver's side uh, section of the frame from the beginning of the bed, actually really the quad cab door here, about, about here, back. Uh, these things rot, and one of the reasons they rot is, you notice, there's holes in this frame. You put your finger right in it. And what happens is like, so the guy that had this, so my dad bought this truck new in 2003. Kept it for a long time, sold it to a dealership in Dry Ridge, Kentucky. They sold it to a guy. Uh, that guy put the fuel system on it and uh, the colder intake. And he um, he had a boat or sea do something to that effect. And he was going to Lake Cumberland in Kentucky and putting his boat in. Well, he would submerge the whole back half of the truck and um, what between this problem of us welding this on because we have a truck camper or he, he has a truck camper um, and then filling this with water, the water got in here and just sat. And if you look at the bottom, there are no holes. So on the new one, uh, we're gonna drill some holes and then pour them. So there's drain holes in here to try to at least give it a, a spot for the water to come out if it ever did get water in it. I don't really see why it, or it would other than just driving in the rain, but yeah, great truck otherwise. Great truck. It's got 232,000 miles, runs amazing. But this is a real problem. We, uh, we pull my fifth wheel with this and uh, right now, we're not pulling anything with this, with this frame this way. So, um, rather than just try to cut it, weld up section in, repair it, uh, we decided this was the best way. So, just get a frame if we can find one, which we did. There's our fifth wheel hitch. And uh, get this thing done. Otherwise, it is an amazing truck. It's in great condition. Uh, runs fantastic really I mean, it's a little down on power but you wouldn't really know it unless you you just knew um, you know it's the it's got the ho cummins in it um five nine cummins ho it's 305 horse 550 torque um turbo diesel and it's got none of the emissions crap on it um this was the one year that didn't have that from what i understand no death nothing like that so really makes this an attractive truck um you know and going back so my dad bought this new here's the inside you know not not bad so we uh he bought this new in 2003 from uh jeff weiler in fort thomas which is where i worked we had a tent sale at northern kentucky university and I brought him up there to look at a 2001 Corvette, green Corvette coupe. 
and uh, I wanted him to buy that because you know we're car guys and that was the car to have at the time and uh, ended up he bought this <laughs> and so he kept it forever um, sold it uh, traded it in at a dealership uh, I think it was uh, the Chrysler dealership in Dry Ridge uh, Kentucky and they sold it to this other guy and he did a couple things but took really good care of it and uh, he kind of put the knobby tires on it and he did some other stuff we bought new you know stock dually tires um, and uh, he had took the hubcaps off and all of that and uh, kind of made it his own I guess and uh, but anyway we put it back and uh, my dad was looking for a truck. He wanted another truck. Uh, we do a lot of hauling um, cars and whatnot and campers. And so you can see there's my fifth wheel. That's one of the things it does. And uh, he was looking and I think it was on Auto Trader or something that I found on the internet and saw this and went, is that my old truck? And started looking and the dead giveaway was the the pockets he welded here and the back bumper he welded on a it's for the jacks for the support for the for this truck camper so he called the guy and they made a deal and he bought his old truck back the one he actually wanted and uh now it's here and it's his baby and quite honestly it's both of our babies we both love it, and uh, the whole family loves this truck. My brother Andy, my mom, my fiance, everybody loves this truck. Um, it's just fantastic. And uh, yeah, so we gotta save it. So the only way to save it is, uh, and to get another 20 years out of this truck is to, to do this really, I guess. So that's what we're doing. Um, but we got the right frame, we got the right everything, all the parts we need are here. Um, I can start this truck up right now and drive it anywhere I want. I just wouldn't put weight on it. So, this is what we got guys. This is what we're doing. This is Project Big Red. Project Save Big Red. And uh, this is Big Red, by the way. That's what we call her for whatever reason. We've been doing that forever. And, uh, over the course of the next couple months, between now and May, um, we are going to try to get this done. Um, and there'll be a lot of work like today. I'll do a little here, get it, you know, kind of disassembled. Then we'll scuff it up, pour it, get that right. And then the next step will be taking the cap off, the bed off, get the cab and the dog, the dog house off of it and get to where we have a rolling frame then we'll pull the motor trans suspension all of that but i'm thinking and please chime in i'm thinking if you know a better way to do this i'm thinking about just taking this frame here that frame with the suspension motor tranny everything boom right here take it out put it in each part that way there's no losing things i don't want to completely disassemble that frame and then be looking at this one going oh god what did i do where did this go and trying to find that i think the best way is just to part by part piece by piece i know the rear suspension will go quick um that won't be a problem that's all been off quite a bit um i just put shocks on that truck bill steam 5100s um so they'll go on this um but it's been off. The front suspension's been off. Um, he upgraded to the more modern, it's a Mopar kit. Uh, where you get all the modern steering and all that. So that's all on there. So we'll bring that off, put it here. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I do think I'm gonna separate the, I'm thinking I'm gonna pull the transfer case and the transmission. Um, get them out and then pull the motor just for weight that diesel is going to be heavy um 
And then uh, I think I'm gonna try to rebuild the transmission, or we are, and a uh, little hope, help from our buddy Tony. And uh, if we screw it up, we'll, uh, we'll take a road trip to Cincinnati and let him do it. And, uh, but I think, I think we're smart enough to figure it out. And, uh, yeah, Project Big Red. So you guys have a great day. Uh, this is, uh, this wasn't something we planned, honestly. I, uh, when we found the carrier bearing, how we found this, we were under there for the carrier bearing, and I, I noticed the crack. And then the more we looked, the more rust spots and cracks we saw, and we are like, oh, shit. And believe it or not, my first attempt looking for a frame I got on Facebook Marketplace and this guy had this frame in Clearwater, uh, which is about 45 minutes to an hour south of us. And uh, the price was right. And uh, we got incredibly lucky when we got there, he had a forklift. So we just set it on the car trailer, which was fantastic. And then getting this off of the trailer was a trip, but, uh, but we got it off eventually took us about an hour but we got it off and uh here we are so i will keep you updated this is what we're doing we're gonna get to work on the thing get to work on the truck the 50 other projects we got laying around the, the house so you guys have a great day and uh we'll have another video for you here shortly